Let's go back to when we, when I first, see, I contacted you first. Yeah. And I said, hey, I got this script. You read the script. And yeah, then, you emailed me kind of out, of, it was somewhat out of the blue, because we had run into each other, I don't know, coming out of an yeah. audition or something. Strip yeah. club. You know. Oh. We, <laughs> yeah, it was, I was getting changed for the, yeah, no, it was, uh, yeah, we had run into each other and you emailed me, yeah, and you're like, I'll read the script, and I kind of, I opened it, and I was like, yeah, I'll read it, and then I read it, and I was like, oh, this is, this is actually really oh. cool, this is good, and I think I just responded, I said, I'd love to do it, what's the deal, and then we, we started talking, and, and I had just done... Joel was the lead in, in te this, yeah, Tempting Adam, this, uh, the TV movie, and I had a small thing in it, and I had a couple of, you know, like a couple of scenes in it or whatever, but we met, and we kind of recognized each other from, like, auditions, really. Yeah, I think from, like, yeah. commercial auditions, probably. How can you not notice Superman and, coming uh, in the door? And Clark and Clint. Clark Kent. Barbie here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Who's going to play the girl? Yeah. Now, can we go back to how we met? Do you remember? Yes, you accosted me in a theater. <laughs> we were both about to watch an um, independent film that a bunch of our mutual friends were was in. Was it like but Walking I can't in the Sky that. or something like that? Yeah. I remember you guys telling me the yeah, story. Yeah, Walking in the Sky. I was sky. in that movie. You were in the movie, <laughs> right, right, right. Memorable right. performance, <laughs> obviously. You were one of the main guys in there, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Anyways, the, you, I think I was sitting in front of you and you tapped me on the shoulder and you'd just seen me in like Law and Order or something. No, I had just seen you in um, Swimming. Oh, right. And then later that day I saw you in uh, Lisa Picard is Famous. Yes. Oh, stalker. Yeah. It was Destiny. I was in his head. Did it seem like Stalker him. kind of? Um, a little bit at he, that point. Michael's said, usually a little scarily when he approaches, but no. He was, he was gentlemanly. <laughs> He's like, I saw you twice today. <laughs> So then when you read it, what did you think? I thought, eesh. No, I loved it, and <laughs> I said, this is going to be great, and, I, and, and you wanted to meet us together. And you had mentioned, that he was actually the selling point. Wow. Yeah, just because wow. I was like, I don't I'll know. Out there, I get movies done. <laughs> kind of the glue that brings them all together. Well, because I didn't know you, and, you know, and I thought it was a great script, but I was a little nervous. How do should I get involved? But right. you always say yes, so. <laughs> but then we met you and your ideas of how you wanted to shoot it, and it was it was interesting. I, I, yeah. I was excited to get. I that's what I. That's sold that was what I liked about it was I lo I loved the script, and then collaboration. We got Joel involved, and then I knew how you talked about wanting to shoot it was the best part about it, because just to do it with no frills. Really, I mean, it was so simple. It was like doing a play. I mean, it was that was the great beauty experience. of it, actually, to like be able to shoot all the way through and not stop and just live through everything that went wrong or right. You know, sometimes wrong is right. <laughs> yeah. No. So, anyway, yeah, yeah. What did we do? We we rehearsed. Like we got to the room. We rehearsed it once, right? Yep. Then we rehearsed it. Just kind of go through, and we kind of discovered where we would go, blocking roughly, and then you kind of followed us with the camera, and then we just did it. And then we were kind of, kind of done. I mean, it was like the quickest shoot known to man. No, it seemed very right. I never, once we were doing it, I didn't doubt that you were getting, I actually thought it was so great because we were so relaxed. I mean, I, I think at one point. It was just flow. I yeah. think that makes sense. Like when you act, like it's, um, it's it not. It was fresh. Yeah, every time was kind of fresh because you were like, do whatever comes. You just like naturally let everything flow. Yeah, there were no, that, that was the beauty of it too, because now everybody, we, a lot of people shoot on digital video, but um, at the time it was kind of like most stuff was done on film and just higher stakes. And yeah, this, you gotta there was so, uh, it, it was very relaxed. That's what I remember. It was very relaxed, and I think it shows in the performances. That well, we were in bed, but. Really relaxed. So it's, like, <laughs> it's, like it's a relaxing. Relaxing set. Good way to start. All right? three of yeah. us. Yeah. Okay, pretend like you're asleep. <laughs> yeah. Wake up now. <laughs> Wake up. Just how I, I think I am about the words. It was, it was it, yeah, we stuck to the words that were written. They were your words, but what made it interesting was like the, the whole experience was improvised each time because 
where you might have been crying through one part, you were then laughing through that part. So the improv improvisation came through um, the the experience, and but we yeah, it was scripted. Michael, yeah. Michael Knowles wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Made Most of the best lines were improv by us, <laughs> but um, we'll that. give him credit. Um, no, yeah, we really we did stick exactly to the script. We but. Also, we should, should we talk about the fact that we did this twice? Yeah. I remember, well, that's what I remember thinking. I really loved our experience the first time. Mm -hmm. And then I think you, you showed it to us, and I think I really liked it. And you said, we're going to shoot it again. And I was like, oh, awesome, we're going to do it again. But I was kind of like, hmm, I wonder if we're going to, are we going to be able to capture, capture that again? <laughs> and the beauty was, when we went back to do it, I remember you said, like, okay, we're going to do it such and such date. And, like, you and I maybe called and talked, and we're like, okay, we're, you know, we're going to do it. And, and I think I like barely looked at the script again before we went back in. And, <laughs> Tell me. And, and no, but the beauty of it was, and I could see it with both of us, there are times in the film, I think, and this is testament to you as a director to let us do this. I think there are times when we're really like searching for our next line as much as we're searching for, but it was so laid back that we're searching for the line and it was real. We really didn't know what we were going to say next. And then... Marlon Brando ish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Taping it on your forehead <laughs> and stuff like that. No, but it, it really was. So it, it really made it even that much more fresh and raw, I thought, the second time. You know, I was worried it was going to be, oh, we've done this before. But it was kind of the opposite. I felt less prepared, maybe, the second time around. And I think it, it helped it. Yeah. You know? I'm always prepared. So. Yeah. So we're actually responsible for you getting your feature and your new camera. That's absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and I think that this uh, extra feature on the DVD is really the selling point. I think that most people probably bought <laughs> this it. This is going to get you another feature. So you know. <laughs> so well, why don't we talk about another feature which we're going to be making called Nick and Stacy? 